Hi together, it's Robert. You might know me from some other videos, but today I've decided to jump in front of this camera because I'm incredibly eager about the Reen project. To be honest, I've been looking at all of the videos. I started texting Philip and I said, Philip, I need to know what's going on. I need to film something. And kindly so, he invited me here. So I would say, let's go up and let's take a look behind the scenes. Okay, here we are at the office of Reen. Let's take a look inside. Hey, hey Philip. Hi, Robbie. Good to see you. Welcome. Come on in and I will introduce you to Reen. That sounds good. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I think the first person we have to meet is Christoph. I agree. I think this is a good take. Christoph, Christoph hi. come on out. Good, good to Robbie. see you. Good to see you. CEO of Monique Design. Maybe you can briefly explain why Monique and Reen together here. I had an idea and we found it Reen together and um, Christoph made it all happen. Yeah, with our team we love projects and Arena is more than a project for us, it's a passion and this is why we live and work for and that's where we start together with Philip bringing up the car to that what we want to do. Fantastic, and if I'm not wrong, Munich has a lot of experience in the automotive industry, is that right? right? 25 years for the automotive industry. We're doing projects for BMW, Rolls Royce is more than 20 years with the team for design, the engineering, all the stuff, class up. Excellent, yeah. so this sounds just the right expertise to bring the Rhein onto the road and bring it into production. That's why we are here together. Very good, let's chat more later. Let's have a look into the offices. Yes. Um, Philip, a question. Very basic, why another Porsche Resto mod, if I may even call it that? Oh, this question wasn't the task we started off. Um, I started um, basically with the idea to make the driving experience more adaptable. Mm -hmm. And then one thing led to another. Mm -hmm. um, I basically met Wolfgang and then it was pretty clear to both of us that we dreamt of an idea to solve an unfinished problem the air-cooled four-valve engine um, and just imagine this problem it was basically clear that we have the best possibilities to solve this problem mm -hmm. now on hand mm -hmm. with the most modern simulation um, tools and the production um, by also thinking about printing mm -hmm. um, and with Wolfgang's experience with more than 40 years but before I talk more about Wolfgang I think I will just show you yeah. what they are working on. That sounds great. And actually, Wolfgang is right here, so let's, yeah. let's take a look. Wolfgang, hi. Yeah. Good to hi. see you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and Marco, our CAD engineer. Hi, Marco. They are both working together on the cylinder head right now. I was going to say, so we see a cylinder head. Maybe you can briefly tell us, oh, what are you working on right now? In the moment you see on the right screen the airflow through the cylinder head, the velocity and the different planes. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there are still some points to optimize the airflow where it's very high on some edges. Mm -hmm. So it's the last improvements we have to do. Overall, we have to look that the pressure drop isn't too high to receive a high airflow. And what in addition is necessary to have the airflow to the hot spots of the cylinder head directed. So both points we have to regard and but as I think we are uh, in the moment or we have achieved a good result as you can see it's very homogeneous and so uh, I think we could finish this part in a few days. It looks fantastic, it looks beautiful, but I'm sure it's going to sound even better. But um, yeah, thank you. Let's chat more about that in detail in the future. Thank you. Okay, see you later. All right, Philip, mentioning unfinished business, uh, it seems like this whole Rian project has taken quite a next level and it's escalated because there's many heads here now working on it. Yes, you could call it that. Um, but when you have a great engine on hand, um, um, you evolve the rest of it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So basically, of course, now we are working also on a design and you will see some beautiful sketches in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the first one will be um, an upgraded aero system mm -hmm. for um, the test car. Um, mm -hmm. We are planning for a lab record. Very good. For air-cooled um, engines. On the Nordschleife? Or? Uh, yes. Oh, very good. You will, know, like you, will, you will know the track. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, you, you're invited and welcome to have a test drive then. Thank you. Um, but the timeline will be around, um, first, we will spend a few weeks on the test bench. Mm -hmm. And then um, during the summer, 
um, the first runs on the lap um, will be planned. That really is the most burning question because when can we expect to see the car on the road and when can I drive it? That yeah, is really. I think, I think if you look at all this, we are working quite fast. Mm -hmm. um, like we are a small but evolving and growing team. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think what we have established in, in the last months is it is really cool and it's a dream come true from mm -hmm. my perspective, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can tell at least. Um, and we will unveil it more and more. Um, and the first thing you will see is, or hear, is a, um, a complete engine on the test bench and um, it will be uh, this summer. I cannot wait for it. And I think with people like Wolfgang as a mastermind behind the engine, it can only be good and I cannot wait to hear it. And also speaking of design, typically when you hear resto mods, you expect the design to look completely different. What's your approach here? I love the classic cars, how they exist. And they are, I think, in my opinion, like time capsules. Mm -hmm. And we have to preserve this mm -hmm. in the one way or the other. But of course, if you double the horsepower, you, you need to some, do some changes. You, you need some arrow as well. Yeah. And, and of course, if you make the brakes bigger, mm -hmm. um, you also need um, a bigger wheel. Yeah. Yeah. So some design changes will come and um, you will see some of them mm -hmm. um, in the first concept. And yeah, but the heritage has to be honored, in my opinion, um, um, because as we move on and also what we are aiming for is that this kit can be fitted to your car, mm -hmm. but it's also reversible in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So you basically can imagine this as a basket mm -hmm. where you start off, mm -hmm. um, upgrade your car and you will never go back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But honoring the past, mm -hmm. I think it could be or should be an option yeah. that should be possible in the future. I think this and is the right approach, yeah. Yeah, we will see where it goes, but at the moment it's, yeah, as you told, um, it's, it's escalating a bit. <laughs> in a positive <laughs> sense, so yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Philip. Thank you so much for your time. I cannot wait to get that invitation. We have it on camera um, and I'm really looking forward to hearing it and seeing the progress. Yeah, we are welcome for your feedback. Huh? All right, thank you.